Hey, what's up, everybody? Bad Billy coming at you. 4.30 on uh, Saturday, June 4th. Just uh, sitting here editing out this uh, video from the 200-round uh, uh, Channel Cat Chaser Federal Aluminum Challenge. I did uh, make an entire video of shooting all the rounds. Um, it uh, By the time I uploaded it, it turned out to be like 14 minutes, so I'm not going to upload that whole entire thing. If some of you guys want to see it, you can contact me directly and I'll send it to you or something like that, but send you the link to it or whatever. But uh, I did have uh, two failure to eject um, double feeds um, at about 30 rounds and at about 90 rounds out of the 200. So there's video of that in there. Um, I also rolled in some footage of shooting some of that 147 grain uh, hollow points from uh, <clears throat> Winchester that Walmart's selling for uh, 21 bucks. I highly recommend that stuff. It's very stout and it's very accurate. It was uh, fun to shoot. Um, in the like two minutes in into the the second shooting clip, you can hear my dad in the background say, uh, "This thing's a piece of shit. I can't get it to run." He, uh, we took his SIG uh, 938 to the range for the first time. Uh, he never fired it yet. We uh, t bought a uh, trigger for it, a metal trigger, and swapped out the plastic trigger and also um, a trigger lightning kit um, to take the trigger pull down to five and a half pounds and took it to our local gunsmith and had it installed. And uh, the trigger wasn't uh, quite adjusted properly and it was... Uh, having a failure to reset on the trigger. So it'd fire like two rounds and then the trigger wouldn't reset, six rounds, trigger wouldn't reset. So he had a bunch of problems with it. He was pretty upset about the whole thing, but uh, he took it back to them and they adjusted it and it resets every time now. So I just got to take it back out and shoot it again. But uh, the rounds that I did get to put through that gun, I was quite impressed with. It's a uh, it's very uh, accurate little piece. So it might be something that I may go back to, I originally went from a SIG 238 and a 380 to the LC9S, and there's a possibility I could go back to a, a 938, I don't know, I, I don't, it's a, it's a pretty nice little gun, but it's definitely much more expensive. Um, and then at the very end of the video, there's a, uh, a clip of uh, my dad shooting his new carry ammo, one round of the, uh, Underwood Ammo Extreme Defender Plus P Plus 90 grain 9 millimeter comes out at 1550 feet per second. That shit's the real deal. The stuff is quite stout. So I need to do a comparison of that stuff with the ARX though. I think the ARX is, you know, pretty much nearly as fast, but not as nearly as much recoil. So, all right, so I'm going to roll this uh, video here and, uh, you guys uh, have a good uh, rest of your weekend. I'm going to head out here in a bit and go hunt down some ammo. So you'll probably hear from me again before the weekend's over. I'm out.
piece of shit I can't get it from. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 